On today's episode, I have a challenge for you. I have a challenge for you that I guarantee you that if you implement can only have a positive effect on your business. So I don't need to waste any of your more time in the intro, but now it's time to cue the episode. And my one question is, are you up for the challenge? So I have a challenge for you. <clears throat> and I say this as a challenge for you because I challenged myself with this and it's been monumental for me. So in our mastermind and in my team and with people that I help and I work with, I have a rule and it's called the one breath rule. And I have this theory that if I can't ask you a question, explain my feelings or share my takeaways in one breath, then I don't have enough clarity yet to share them. So when you think about this in the lens of a question, if we don't have enough clarity on our question to be able to ask it in one breath, we get to explore it deeper. If we get asked for an answer and we don't have the ability to share it in one breath, then we can spend a little bit more time getting deeper on the clarity of that answer. Now you might be thinking, George, you're crazy. This is absolutely nuts, potentially. But the secret to success is an internal game. The secret to success is an internal game. And I can only share my story. And I know for years that I avoided the internal game by always having an external answer. I would need something. And instead of thinking about it, I would go do something instead. I'd go on social media, I'd go watch a video, I'd go listen to a podcast, I'd go read a book. All because I never spent enough time deeply exploring what it was that I was looking for. To then realize a month later that I had the answer and I could have saved all that time by just exploring it and getting clear. I just did this post the other day that said anxiety is unused energy due to a lack of clarity. And clarity is the secret. This is a game that's been played many times before us and will be played many times after us. And there are no quote unquote secrets. In my opinion, there's a lack of clarity. So our intention and energy gets directed in the wrong places for the wrong reasons and creates the wrong results. The only two inputs that you control every single day in your life is your intention and your energy. Everything happens at the, the precipice or the cuspice, whatever word I'm supposed to use, at the result of those two things. But for years, and I mean six or seven years, I always had the best intention, but I was putting my energy in the wrong place because I lacked clarity. And so I instituted this rule for myself. It was called the one breath rule. If I was going to ask my team for support or hire out a consultant or solve a problem or ask for coaching, I needed to be able to clearly articulate in one breath what it was that I was looking for. Or I had to be able to articulate that I needed coaching on getting clarity. But either way, it was still one breath. It went something like, hey, I've been thinking, I'm struggling with what to put in this five-part email fulfillment sequence to close these customers. One breath. The inverse of that is, I don't know what to put in these emails. So that clarifying question would be, I'm looking for support in what to put in these emails and how long the sequence should be to escalate these customers into my mastermind. Either way, it's still one breath. And I have found that with myself, with my team, with my students, with my clients and people that I utilize this with, we all have tremendous growth and tremendous breakthroughs because it forces us to look in the mirror and dive deep into the clarity required for us to be successful. And so I have a challenge for you. My challenge for you is to implement the one breath rule. Implement it everywhere that you can. If somebody asks you, for a question, try to give them a one breath answer, which means you're going to have restraint and you're going to pause and you're going to have clarity. You're going to be powerful, articulate, and then deliver a response. If you need help with something, you need to explore that fogginess or that ambiguity until you find the clarity to be able to articulate what it is that you're looking for in one breath. I'm going to challenge you because this will change your game. The only thing you need to succeed is clarity 
And once you have clarity, you give it all your intention and all of your energy until it becomes true. And the one breath challenge is my easiest way of holding myself accountable that I'm always working from a place of clarity or exploring it to find it before I put my intention and energy into anything that I do. That's it for today. Have a beautiful Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. But now it's time to cue the outro.